Hello and welcome to another one of my case clicker videos. I'm going to try something new today. Not. I'm going to farm my howl. You better believe it. I want the howl. I want it, want it, want it. And um, 170 came out yesterday, the new iOS update. And I did some shadow cases, I unlocked the trading options, I ninja bought all the upgrades. All super fun, crazy, amazing, good stuff. Love the update. So much still they can improve in the game and I really hope they will. But I am still super happy about Case Clicker. But I'm not super happy about missing my howl. So instead of going in and doing a thousand jackpot, no not jackpot. But, but, but. Instead of going in and doing a thousand shadow cases, hoping for that crazy one knife or something, because I did complete the collection yesterday, I want to go in and do a bit more howling. That's exactly what I want to do. So, this video is going to be another attempt at getting the howl from the jackpot today. I'm thinking I'm going to be going above normal, at least in this video. So, um, yeah, lean back and uh, pretty much... Um, have a good one if you're into jackpots. I am definitely hoping to get my haul today. And um, as a side note, going to try to do a live stream this evening, this night, uh, where you guys can pick from my collection based on some community questions that I will be asking. And, and if I get the haul and you want to pick it, it's completely okay. So anyway guys, let's uh, move on really, is what I'm thinking. Alrighty, got my iPhone hooked up and the new offline income is being added, meaning that I make an amazing 61.44 bucks for being offline for almost one and a half hour. Crazy bad, but uh, then again, I'm not into the passives that much. So still have uh, quite a bit of bucks here, did some uh, morning farming. Uh, but I also have quite a few stickers because I also made some evening farming just a little bit after yesterday's video really. So let us head into the jackpot here. Um, going in on above normal and uh, just to show you guys because this is a question that keeps coming up. This small symbol here, when you click on that, tap on that, that is when you get up the option to change the jackpot skin prices. The above normal is often jackpots worth four to eight thousand. The normal jackpot, I don't think I've seen them above three thousand that often, but I think they're always above a thousand. Very low, I think, is one hundred and fifty to three hundred, and below somewhere between the normal and very low. But um, so that is the amount you are betting up against when you want to win the pot and that is what your percentage is based on but that is completely irrelevant right now completely because what I need what I want come on I know I have loads of those stickers where are you hiding there we have them so this here is what I want to do and of course I hope to win 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 I am I have been after the howl for so long now that now I just want it. No more fooling around. Just give me the howl. And I think I've made one video where I gamble jackpot with my I buy power stickers and I go in and I start winning. Normally when I put them in I just lose, lose, lose. And that really blows. It really blows because they take so much time to farm. And I doubt they are going to be that easy to get in trades either because they are hard to farm and they are nice to use in the jackpot. Uh, I was thinking about making like an open trade option so people could trade me their I buy power holo stickers and I could give back items, but since I am interested in keeping everything above 400 and these items are as close to 400 as possible, I wouldn't really be able to give back like good stuff for them and who wants lower value items more items at a lower value for giving away pretty rare things such as the i buy power holder sticker i don't know about you guys but wouldn't be a good deal for me so that's also why i decided not to do that um but i mean if someone's out there feeling like hey i have a thousand i buy power holder that i don't want 
and I want to trade them for lower valued items at an overpriced, just hit me up. That's super cool. I would love to do that, but I mean, um, yeah. I think you should keep them and use them for yourself, really, and not just uh, trade them away to me because I'm asking nicely. And I do know how to farm them on my own. It's not like I haven't done it before ever, but um, yeah, this was a, this is a huge grind. I feel um, really. Whew, it takes uh, it takes a lot of hours, um, but luckily once I have done the clicking. Uh, Opening the actually the actually the actual uh, challenges capsules is very casual because I can just do it with my hand in my pocket with my phone there because it's just tapping the same few times all over and over and over. But, uh, yeah, it is a bit of a drag, so I wouldn't mind really getting that hollow now. This has been a process that has gone on for a very long time. At least it feels like a very long time, and I know it's pretty short compared to what I did to get my first Medusa, the 945 cases, so, um, I mean, I've only just done a bit more than that jackpot-wise since I started doing jackpot, so it's not that crazy, but, um, yeah. Woohoo! The reason why I'm doing this in above normal is because the I buy power holder stickers take so long for me to farm that even though I have a better chance at losing them here I also have a chance to actually win something interesting with them uh, besides the howl if I do get in the luck mode uh, and I do feel that after having put in hours to get them I also want at least a chance of getting something good back Perhaps you're wondering why you're not just running the jackpot. If you see a value above 500, then you put them in. Um, I should have done that. But it really takes so long um, to play the game that way. And that is, I play that way when I'm not recording. But I don't want to bore you guys running seven jackpots in a row, just skipping them. No, I'm not gonna put anything in. No, I'm not gonna put anything in. That would be kind of sucky, I think. So, um, so that is why I'm not doing it the smart way because I did test that out yesterday, and you can still do it. Um, I got a new sticker! Yay! Oh come on! Yeah, wasn't meant to be this time. I also found out a new thing about trading today. This may be like completely old news from you guys, but I was under the impression that you could only perform 10 trades every day based on what I saw in my son's um, case clicker, he was trading around. But you can only initiate 10 trades, so I can only ask other people to trade with me 10 times, but other people can ask me to trade a gazillion times so so the 10 trade limit you have per day is you asking other people but you can put yourself out there really uh, and get a lot more trading options than that and i guess that's why i have so many people spamming their nethub usernames as comments because when you use your 10 trades you're pretty much done unless other people ask you for a trade so. I still think it's super okay you guys do that, I mean have fun, trade with each other, go nuts, I love that. Um, as long as you try to respect campaign videos, because I am deleting usernames with um, trades that post in there. I want to keep that a little more clear for, for new players that just really have a, a question or a comment about how to progress in the game uh, without being flooded by information about NetHub usernames. I also had to be a little rough yesterday. I actually had to remove comments from a few players uh, from my channel entirely. And that's because, like I said, I think it's so cool people are cross training. But don't copy paste spam your trade sales speech and put it on. 15 videos 
I think that's it. So, so yeah, I removed two. I removed comments from two people that did that. Just blocked them because I I don't think that is um, that's not cool. So, but now 4:35 there. We've been in decent luck so far in this jackpot, but. Uh, haven't seen the hell, haven't seen the hell. But I, I so want to see it today. It's like yesterday, or well, the day, I, Sunday, I really tried also to get the hell uh, and failed again. Uh, today I feel like this is my lucky day. Was I a little too fast to say? And yesterday I did end up gambling some of my Dragon Lords and Medusas, I think it was, on uh, on the jackpot because I didn't have these holo stickers, and that is why I have been really going a little crazy nuts uh, grinding for them because it's not really that fun to lose them. I want to stock up on them, well, at least you know the, the factory new ones, at least. But, uh, it feels bad watching them disappear into the void of uh, the jackpot hole. Uh, so I wanted to get my howl without... Wow, 567, give me this one. This is my lucky jackpot number 1164, bring it to me. No! Oh really? So I think I have holo stickers enough for one, two jackpots more. No, just this one. Wow, oh, bad, bad, bad. Oh well. Oh well. It really goes a lot faster the wrong way than uh, than I wanted it to. Nothing I can do about that. It was worth it. Five sixteen. Yes, please. Yes, please. And also, you guys posting comments about how you got your house. Um, got several confirmations yesterday that you could get it from the normal jackpot. So now that I'm running out of the good stickers, it's gonna be normal jackpot gambling. Um, I really, really hope that I would be able to go a little longer with um, with the I buy power holo stickers there, but no. That was not meant to be, so um, I was just um, crazy. Oh yeah, keep adding low stuff so that I can win this one. Let's see what interest... Oh! Now it's a very good pile. Oh! Was that the third 569 item? Please let me win this. Please, 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 please let me win it. Jackpot, right there, factory new, oh, that was good, that was really, really good, I am so happy about that, wow, this has been uh, crazy, crazy, crazy farming, and now I have it, it is now mine, my precious, no stat track on it, uh, but it's factory new. The M4A4 Howl. All your base art belong to us. Check that out on Google, by the way, or YouTube if you haven't, because all your base art belong to us. So, wow. This was like the dream jackpot. I'm so happy I didn't just go into normal, even though this was a costly process. But uh, I got the Howl. Yes, I did. And I got a Karambit Fade, minimum wear. Got two of those. Oh yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Getting the Howl, finally. It has been super expensive for me to get. Like, really, really bad. But now it's there. 516.76. Guys. All your base 
all your base are belong to us. That's all I have to say. All your base are belong to us. And yeah, I like that. So I'm going to end this here because this was this was my goal. This was what I wanted. And now I have it. And that really means I can uh, I can start preparing for a live stream today. And I really want to do that. So um, as always, yay! And thank you very very much. Very much for watching. Like crazy. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Howl! Yeah! Thanks for watching.